Hello beautiful strong happy and healthy people. So day three today of where my CGM Now yesterday's dinner. I did a video yesterday talking about fruit and I didn't say that yesterday's blueberry smoothie was epic I didn't really spike it all with wild blueberries, which was fantastic But I did have some protein stuff with it But this morning I had my eggs and I had my fruit together and I had a massive spike and I'll show you guys right now So you can see that from this morning at this end right here that spike there that was from the fruit. So it ended up going up to a 7.4, but it actually dropped extremely quick um, within an hour back down to a 4.2. So the spike was a little like a really sharp spike like that. So that got me thinking, and I'm pretty curious. Now if fruit does that, what does this bad boy do to me? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check my um, blood glucose now. I'm going to drink a nice big glass of Coke. I'm not really a soda drinker, not that it doesn't taste epic and delicious, but because it's not really the best thing for me. So I'm curious to see how high I can get my sugar levels to spike. So I haven't had anything to eat or any drinks other than water for about three hours. So I'm going to do this. And then what I'm going to do this afternoon after I have lunch, I'm going to wait a little bit, get my sugar levels back down. And then I'm going to go to Boost and go get a juice full of a bunch of fruit and veggies and compare the two. So let's give this bad boy a go. Do I want to look at the sugar? Oh shit, 40 grams of sugar, 161 calories. <laughs> you should never look at the sugar and the calories of your uh, unhealthy foods that you're about to consume. But this is for research, so it's okay. Okay, let's scan this bad boy. I'm sitting at a 5.3, so that is pretty good. As I said before, the unicorn state was about 4.5 and a 5.5. I think everyone's a little bit different. I've seen some people online that are sitting around the early fours and my fasting first thing in the morning was a 4.7. It's not too bad, so cheers. That's good. I wish this was healthy. So I literally just finished this. That took me a minute or two, like a boss. Now I just scanned it and now it's at a 5.6 and I've got a little arrow saying it's rising. So literally as I was consuming this, it's already spiking my blood sugar levels and it or the sensor knows that it's increasing in the sugar being released. So oh, I'm so sorry to my healthy temple of a body, but that was yummy and it's uh, for research and science, right? So it has been 30 minutes now since I just finished my whole can of coke with 40 grams of sugar in it. It's been less than 30 minutes and I'm already at a 9.2. It took about five to 10 minutes before to actually start going up. So I must have had the drink at 8.10 of that means we're actually 40 minutes in. Now it took about 15 minutes for it to start spiking and then once it did all that yellow, it really started to spike. So I'm very curious to see if it goes up to a 10 because it is 9.2 and it's trending upwards. So all the sugar goodness is going into my bloodstream right now. So it seems that within an hour, it did its full 100% max spike. The max recording I got is a 9.2 and it's been 12 minutes since I've recorded that and I'm back down to a 7.7. .7. So it is dropping pretty fast. So I'm interested to see how long it's going to take to get back down to the 5. But I do have to go back to work in about 45 minutes and I want some food. So I'm hoping not too long. So I'm officially down from my Coca-Cola spike. It took me about an hour to get up to my highest, which was a 9.2 that I recorded. Then to get fully back down to under a 5, it took me about an hour and a half. So it literally looked like a pretty slow spike and then a pretty decent drop off. I was quite surprised because I assumed it would have been similar to how my body was with fruit. Now when I had the nectarines this morning, it went like within a 30 minute block, it just spiked and went back down. So I really assumed that it was going to be something more like that as opposed to a steady increase and a steady drop. But one thing I realized is, I only just realized this later, is I actually had a coffee this morning before, um, 
after this and I was thinking the time I had my coffee was actually when I felt that big drop when it was going to about the five so I think my body felt that the, that I was starting to ease off which I wasn't on that sugar high anymore so I felt like I needed something so I actually made myself a coffee because I could feel that my energy was starting to drop so my next little test for my comparison is I have got the juice brothers juice this is like a natural orange juice it's supposed to be quite healthy for you but it has 24.3 grams of sugar but no added sugar pure orange juice hundred percent and this is going to be my comparison to the coca-cola this is 40 grams of sugar so this is a lot more but i'm curious to see how fast this spikes and how fast it takes for me to drop off and kind of want to hurry up on this one because i kind of want some lunch this is a lot for my body in one day i haven't had orange juice in so long and we are finally trending back down it took literally exactly an hour to start trending up to my spike and now back down so that an hour took me to get to a 5.4 and my most was an 8.9 so that's pretty crazy for a fresh orange juice now with my coke my top score was a 9.2 so actually not that far off and they would did take a very similar time to get up there and i'm curious to see what it's going to do with my drop now a really funny thing just happened i was on my computer working and every few minutes i'll grab it and i'll scan it because i'm trying to see where my pig is and i really want to catch it at its pig and i want to catch it at that drop as close as possible so i'm constantly addictively scanning it and i'm on my computer and the next minute i just got this weird like oof, like this drainy blurry feeling and i was like that's so weird like a little bit of like a high feeling but not in a good way kind of like an energy drain and then I started to scan again and I was actually going down so I think I was just I had to hit a spike and then my whole uh, all my blood sugar levels just started to drop and I could just feel everything go Oof. so that was a very unique feeling that I've never actually been really aware of my blood sugar dropping and now that I can have those feelings and see what's going on it's pretty awesome so it's been a good 30 40 minutes since the sugar spike after the juice now it's going steadily down very similar to the coke so the reason why i'm doing this and i really want to compare the coke and the juice is that i want to show you the effects of insulin yes one has a lot more micronutrients and a lot healthier things for your body so I do recommend going for a juice alternative if you're going to go for a coke you get a little bit more out of it than the insulin spike but I want to make a point that if you are trying to lose weight and if weight loss is your goal that your goal should be to regulate your insulin spikes as much as possible i'm surprised of how easy it is to actually spike my insulin now dr jason funk has a much better metaphor than what i'm going to kind of butcher he's the author of the longevity diet now when you're trying to lose weight if you just put food in and put food out over time your body is going to get used to that and your metabolism is going to slow so the more the less food you put in your body's eventually going to put less out and you're going to burn less calories you'll find this if you barely eat any food and you still have a lot of fat store your body's not able to tap into that fat store now a better way to do this is if whatever you're putting in they're not necessarily decreasing your calories but decreasing those insulin spikes try and eat as much as possible without spiking that insulin over that unicorn threshold throughout all your meals and you'll find that a lot easier to lose weight than this constant insulin spikes and constantly decreasing your calories because you're just going to decrease your metabolism in the long run thank you guys for watching my video i really hope that you guys were as interested as i was to see this the spike similarities between the coke and the juice i was quite surprised of that it acted very similar when it came to my blood readings but if there's anything you guys want me to try, let me know why I still the patch on. This week it's all about testing and next week it's all about trying to maintain before I take the patch off. So I'm pretty excited to see how I'm going to do that. But if you haven't already, big red subscribe button hanging out right there. Any questions? Let me know and I'll see you guys in my next video.